The flashlight that was turned on sank to the bottom of the river with a lyrical gesture. Someone found the light at the bottom of the river. It's twenty or thirty feet long. Many people rushed to the river, including Captain Portbelly of the exploration team. The light at the bottom of the river was dark green and opened everywhere like the light. People stand on the shore hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder. People watched the dark green light in the river slowly dimming with horror and despair, and finally disappeared. Father Goatee said, "God the Earth, anger! God the Earth, anger!" He repeated this sentence a thousand times in one night. The next day, everyone kept silent about the night. Nearly moon, Beijing floated up from the bottom of the river. At the downstream of the glowing river. The whole body of Beijing lost the contact with each other and kept hanging down. The death situation in Beijing was vivid, reflecting a blue light in the midday sun. After people turned their eyes away from Beijing's corpse, the wolf berry were rendered bloody by an illusion and showed a static gushing. Father did not publicize the disappearance of the flashlight. The flashlight event must be over there, but that underwater flashlight has since become a myth. Someone even mentioned it on the twenty ninth of last month. He said he saw with his own eyes the light in the river where Beijing died the next day. Many people said that he was just bragging. How can the river shine at night? The narrator was aggrieved and excited, saying that it would be good if Beijing were alive, and she must have known that everything is true. The narrator added that there was also an exploration team that year, and they were looking for oil everywhere. After a brief silence, the prospecting team exploded again. There were no more dead fish in the river because there were no more fish to die in the river. Their foreign accent has lost the charm of newcomers, and their operation have lost the onlookers, leaving only lonely explosions and sentimental echoes. Captain Portbelly took off his pants angrily in the twilight. His legs were covered with scars. Those scars gleamed in the sunset. Captain Portbelly kept talking. His self-talking did not leave the content of scar for a moment. He said that there are scars everywhere in this world. The stars are the scars of the night sky. The dead leaves are the scars of the wind. The cement roads are the scars of the ground. The ice is the scars of the water, and the wells are the scars of the soil. Captain Portbelly said these crazy things and quietly stepped onto the boat. His back on the boat with his bare legs became the most moving moment in our village. The dense fog gave the early morning a sleepy look. The crowing of the chicken was symbolic, and after two throws, it went back to sleep. In the thick fog, father was dreaming. He dreamed of the smooth and shiny back of the oil, wriggling under the ground. Petroleum was made infinitely gorgeous by his dream, which was somewhat similar to the swimming eels. The sun appeared soon after the fog subsided. The return of the sun makes our village more tender and lovely. At this time, some people said that the exploration team, the exploration team, people were walking around, and there was no figure of the exploration team. Only the endless wolf berries were cleaned by the thick mist and vivid as water. Everyone followed my father to the river. The river was empty, with fine waves and birds in their eyes. After the dense fog receded, there was a zigzag-shaped watermark on the river surface, like a big scar. 
pulled to the corner of the river surface. This scar has been burned on my father's heart. There was a fog in my father's eyes. The feeling of oldness grew in it, permitting my father's summer.